Hello, hello, family. Once again, welcome to Samantia Farm. And as usual, my name is Fred. A week ago, I was standing right at this place and I told you about my investment plan, which is investing a little over $9,000, 50,000 Ghana cities into pig farm. I showed you the design I had on paper and my whole vision of the pig farm. Today, my dream is coming to a reality, gradually, gradually, and step by step. And therefore, I want to bring you more updates on where we are on our pig farm project. So stay tuned. Welcome back guys. So as I said, a week today, I brought you an episode about starting a pig farm here at Cementia Farm. And as you can see, I showed you, so that's our poultry farm. That is our cattle farm over there. And that's the warehouse where we store all our feeds and so on. Last week, we actually started the pig farm. Been engaging with the workers, drawing the plan, as you guys saw in, um, in, in last week's video about the whole vision on paper. And now we are actually coming to reality, you know, the guys have been working tremendously um, since last week, Monday, and we are picking up and I want to walk you guys through. I know most of you saw it on paper and if you didn't, I'm going to link the link up here. You can finish this video and go and watch that to have an idea of the process of where I started and where I am today, right? Um, so I'm gonna take you guys around. So come with me as I work you through it. So actually let's go a little bit backwards, right? And give a better view, right? So in front of me is the main road, right? Coming from the village to the farms, right? So that's the main road, which is about 50 meters from where I am standing. So the moment you enter the farm, Trans sort of into the pig farm so this is gonna be sort of a small warehouse slash changing room where their feed will be prepared so this side is where we are going to prepare the feed right so we're good it's about 20 feet um, by 40 feet so we're going to prepare their feed here at this area right so whoever is taking care of the pigs walks in and then enter this hall to your left is preparation of feed and then to your right is going to be sort of a changing area storeroom right we already have a warehouse where we're going to be storing the food and everything but this will be like a changing room where you change and then you can go and work at preparing your food once you have your food prepared then you're going to walk in here and be able to feed both left and right so i developed two things here so on my right hand side here all the pen that you see come over as you can see from the paper measurement all the pen that you see yes i have about one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so i have about ten houses here and all these houses are going to be for grown-up females right so females that are going to give birth that are big enough to stay here and as i described in my pitch um uh, my drawings last week I'm literally going to have like a feed lot here, right? And this I'm counting on you guys experience as well. Those of you who are already in the business to give me more knowledge and comment here if you think this is a bad idea, but I'm going to have some feed lot here that feed will be put inside here. And then here I'm going to have about one feet. So I'm going to have about one feet here and length. Um, sort of the, the the water system here and be able to have a pool here I'm thinking about this pool because most people have said that even if you feel it's a good idea we know that pigs like to be cold and and swim in water but it could also get very filthy and they, they the reason being that pigs could poop inside they could really make it dirty and you have to basically wash it the moment you put some fresh water they are going to poop inside so then it doesn't really serve the purpose of the cleanliness and giving them the work. So what most people are recommending is that you actually 
don't fill this but you just create a great source of water that you can occasionally come and with your tube sort of water them right so that that is another option but i really want to try the pool but if you have an experience in in the port um in the pick um business please let me know and write in the comment below what you're suggesting do we do a pool or do we just have a pipe holes and then you can just come and water them during the day when it's very hot um, i want to hear your comments i want to hear from you guys that are more experienced as you can see i'm now entering into it and i'm relying on you guys as well and that's how sort of the knowledge sharing is this platform is not for me alone to give out information right it's for you guys to also educate me and and sort of lead me towards the right path so today that's what i'm thinking about so once i have that then all this space will be for for both the male or female who is here to be able to be very comfortable and i think it's a big enough space because i really want to get a good breed and a big breed and therefore giving them that much space um, to live in so that is, these are the sizes for all the various 10 so i'm thinking about starting with about maybe eight females and maybe one or two male and therefore the 10 here is just going to be the females who are going to be producing to expand the farm right to your right is where i'm going to actually have the babies either in groups or in a group of two or in a group of three if we go all the way here i have some that are about i think um 13 feet um by eight feet some that are about 12 feet um by eight feet and this is because when they are let's say two or three give birth right and give birth to to 10 or eight i want to be able to put them at one place so they grow out to maybe i don't know three months two months and then start separating them in terms of male and female and at that point where we are actually um keeping all of them in one place they need a space which is about that's why i'm going to utilize the 13 feet or the 12 feet but then the moment i separate them then they're going to be coming to this side so basically that is the whole idea around it i know it just started raining so uh, we might have to cut this video short and that is what it is. We can control it. But before I go, I just wanted you guys to have a proper look at what I'm doing. And I'm going to count on you guys a lot for your advice and support in doing this. Since, you know, I've done as much research that I, as I can. But again, um, you know, I know if you guys are doing it, you have better experience. This is what I have. Um, the, the, the size, this, this walk path here is five feet. Is that the right feet to go um, at the moment the masons have finished um, the block works which is laying of the block and the carpenters are actually here let's come closer and what the carpenters are doing is putting the metal poles you know my idea about metal poles just for innovation re-innovation right so in case tomorrow i want to the root the the, the woods are uh, have been eaten by termites so or are rotten and i want to change it the metal poles are always going to hold it for me to be able to rechange it right um and that's why i always go for metal poles instead of wood but then beside the metal poles i'm going to put wood as well to project it right but they are just there for um future reason so at the moment we are, that's what we're working on so this has been a one week job once they are done the poles are strong then we'll start with the roofing and from there the masons will come back and start doing the casting start doing the feed lot and so on i also going to bring you a video about how i'm planning my waste management i know pig farming is i've been to some pig farms that i'm like like i will never want to eat pork again but you know i think there are better ways to do it and you can actually keep it clean so i i'm going to share with you guys what my idea or plan to manage waste and also to make it very clean so as you know we are always going to try and do the best and keep the standard and quality high so let's see how it goes but guys this is what i have for you today it's basically what is happening here what has been done um either in a few days or next week i'm going to bring you an update also on how much all this is costing me so far don't forget we are investing 50k and now i'm going to share with you what we have spent so far so stay tuned for next week and stay blessed